In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to make an online art portfolio. This is something that you can do with your students. It's a great way to integrate technology into the classroom, and it does not take very much time at all. It can definitely be done within a one class period lesson, uh, depending on the number of students you have and how comfortable they are with the technology available to your classroom. It may even take way less time than that. Um, and they can spend the rest of class period after setting up just working on customizing and personalizing their portfolio. So we are going to use Weebly today. Your final portfolio might look something like this. This is one I've already set up. So this is a potential final website design. Um, there's links at the top with sections about the about me, the artist. I've included pictures of different types of artwork and I've organized the artwork by type. We've got contact information with a resume. There's a lot of potential for different things you can do on your website. Each of the images here I have linked to a different page. So for printmaking, if I click on the image of a print a linoleum print being carved, I'll end up at my printmaking page. And you can add videos as well. So to get started, we would go to weebly.com and mine automatically went to the website I had already, or the account I already set up. Uh, if it's your first time, it will ask you to set up an account, but it is free. Uh, if you already have a site, you can just sign back into your account and edit over here, and it will edit whatever site you've selected. But for now, we're going to go to add a new site. It will ask you if you want to sell online. You're going to say not now. And then it will give you different options for themes. For an art portfolio, especially a professional one, uh, it's pretty standard to have a very simple blank background. Uh, they have a portfolio option for a category of theme. And the one I chose for mine, which is one I would encourage my students to use, is this first one because it is that kind of clean white background. There are some other options, but this is one we're going to click on for our new one. Uh, it gives you a little preview, and you can follow the links or click on the pictures. And if it's something that interests you, you can click Start Editing. Because we're not paying for this, Instead of registering for a new domain, we're going to use a subdomain of Weebly.com. I will call this a CSE example, and it will end up as csexample.weebly.com, which is fine for these purposes. And we're going to click continue. So it already has you set up with some sample photos. I would say for an art portfolio, your students should use all photos of their own work, um, or else it'll be a little misleading. So we can change these by clicking on them. And we can edit image once they've added their own image, or you can replace image. Uh, so they can upload a photo from their computers. And then once they've done that, they can crop the image. They can make it square, which is what I did in my portfolio to kind of make all my thumbnails the same size and look consistent. But if you notice there, one thing I forgot to do that's an important step is once you click the edits in here, you need to click the back arrow and then click save. 
It's kind of tedious that you can't just pick, pick save on the same page, but that's the way it is. Within these images, uh, once you click on them, not only can you change the image, but you can also add links to either different pages within your portfolio, or you can add different pages to different websites, another product page, some contact information, so there's a lot of good possibilities there. If you find yourself not liking the theme you've chosen, you can always change it, but it might change the formatting of your what you have set up so far, so I suggest changing it uh, early on if that's what you're going to do. Uh, you can add more pages here just by clicking the little plus arrow. Those are just a few things about Weebly that make it kind of a good website to get started on. It has a lot of possibilities and it's a great way to integrate technology into your classroom that students can use beyond uh, the curriculum. And I think it's something that students get a lot of sense of accomplishment and feel really good about. So I hope you can use this in your classroom and good luck.